So when you've been reverse engineering, you may have come across a type of function such as this. So these are virtual functions and normally they're pretty difficult to figure out. So from this you won't understand what's happening unless you can find out what's pointing to. However, there's a simple way you can get about this. So first of all, you check the type that is calling this virtual function. So as you can see, CC sprite has been used. So I find the V table for CC sprite, which I've already found in advance. Something I forgot to mention is how you actually find the V tables. So for example, if I wanted to find um, player objects V table, so type player object there, then I'd use the tilde to find the deconstructor. Because these constructors are always in the V table from my experience. So I found the V table already there. Another method is if you're on Windows, there's plugins you can use, such as Class Informer. So you can just use that and then you can just find so player object. And then you can find the player object class really easily. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, so that's the player object V table right there. But with this, you don't get all the names. Only the symbols for the library that I use is core course. And then you'd get the address of this. So as you can see, I've got the address here. I'm going to put it down in the little Python console down here. With your X, boom. So there. So now I'll look at the offset. So here, since I've already assigned it to a void star pointer in the variable, I have to multiply it by four. But if it wasn't anything like that, that'd be the actual offset I need. So I need to add this offset to the original address when I press enter. And now when I double click on it, it brings us to a function. So this is a set color method. Now to make it easier to work with, you can define a struct that has all this. Now the best way I'd find is to demangle all these functions right here. Now SMGS actually made a library for Node.js that lets you demangle these functions. And it's really simple to use. So I've got my own little script here. Feel free to copy it if you need to. And essentially, if I go here and copy all these functions here, all these virtual functions, and post it into here, and then I run the script. It's generated a V table for us. A structure, I mean. I've got the name wrong, I need to change it to CC Sprite. So then, I run that. And I've also made a generate file, so here's my CC Sprite. I can just copy that. Shift F1, open local types. And then insert, and then I can just use that, enter it in. And now, I can just do this and it'll tell us what the function does really easily. So yeah, I might upload this to GitHub so it's easy to access all the tools I've made for reverse engineering. But that's essentially how it works. I hope this was any help to you because it saved me quite a lot of time when I've been reversing stuff.